हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम वेलकम टू एस वी यूनियन हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज आर सब्जेक्ट टुडे विल बी ज्योग्राफी स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ ओशन पार्ट वन ऑफ ऑल द प्लैनेट्स नोन टू मैन ओनली अर्थ इज हैविंग अ लिविंग वर्ल्ड द लेयर ऑफ द अर्थ where the life exist is called the biosphere biosphere can be classified into atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere we have also studied that the two largest types of landforms are continents and oceans we are all surrounded by oceans and they play an important role in our life in our previous classes or standards in our lower standards we have studied about the lithosphere and hydrosphere we have seen the proportion of land and water on the earth and also the major oceans we have seen the largest ocean and the smallest ocean the hydrosphere includes all the different types of water bodies that exist on the earth this includes oceans seas rivers lakes reservoirs and groundwater of the total global waters 97.7% is contained in oceans most of the water that we use for our domestic purposes comes from various uh, reservoirs lakes or ground water and rivers ground water can be used for agriculture too we see a great variety of life living on the earth we see different types of animals having different types of living habits there are different types of eating habits different type of people living which follow different religion have different languages and different color but they all live together on the earth similarly there is a great diversity in hydrosphere too in fact there is a great diversity in hydrosphere comparing to the living world on the land these species range from various mammals birds big and small fishes reptiles etc fish is the first thing that comes to our mind when we think of what lives in the ocean or water there are variety of fishes of different colors size shapes etc let us study this table given in our textbook which shows us the different oceans that are on the our surface of the earth and their area in square kilometers first one given in the table is the pacific ocean the area of pacific ocean in square kilometer is 16 crore 62 lakhs 40977 square kilometers the next is the atlantic ocean its expanse is 8 crore 65 lakhs 57402 square kilometers next ocean that we are going to see is the indian ocean its expanse is 7 crores 34 lakhs 27163 square kilometers southern ocean its area is 2 crores 3 lakhs 37000 square kilometers and the last one is the arctic ocean its expanse is 1 crore 32 lakhs 24479 square kilometers we are going to carry out a small activity given in our textbook use the following ingredients take a bowl of rice flake that is poe 
वन टी स्पून ऑफ ऑयल वन टमाटो एंड अ स्मॉल ऑनियन विच इज डाइस्ड चिली पाउडर टू टेस्ट मिक्स ऑल द इंडिग्रेंस दैट यू हैव टेकन वेल गिव द मिक्सचर टू ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स एंड आक्स दैम टू टेस्ट इट आफ्टर दे आफ्टर दे हैव टेस्टेड दिस मिक्सचर नाउ एड सम सॉल्ट टू द मिक्सचर एंड टेल दैम टू टेस्ट इट अगेन what difference do you notice in the dish you have tasted earlier and later earlier the mixture was not at all tasty but later it became tasty what do you think made the dish really tasty adding salt to the mix- mixture made the dish tasty for what other purposes do you see the last ingredients at home the last ingredient that is the salt is also used for the following purposes it is used as preservative it is used to preserve pickles fishes etc it is used to store kulfis the makers can keep kulfi molds in the mixture of salt and ice because the set mixture relatively takes more time to melt This mixture is considered ideal as it has the temperature of minus four degree Celsius as against the temperature of ice zero degree Celsius. Let us see the next activity given in the textbook. Take some water in a steel dish as shown in this figure six point two on page number thirty two of your textbook. it is better if the water is from the borewell keep the water in direct sunlight do not remove the dish until all the water gets evaporated and observe the dish after the water has evaporated completely and see what you find that is left behind taste the substance in the dish when all the water in the dish gets evaporated we can observe a whitish layer left in the dish and it tastes salty drinking water has very less amount of salts thus it does not taste salty whereas water from the ocean and seas has a great amount of salt and thus it tastes salty let us see how minerals and salts are formed in the oceans different types of living living things are found abundantly in the ocean for example from the microscopic planktons to huge whales there are different types of living things found in the ocean and once they die their remains accumulate in the oceans also the river water that flows from the mountains or hilly areas into the ocean carries sediments from the eroded lands trees and bushes dead remains etc these dead remains decompose releasing various minerals and salts in the ocean water volcanic eruptions that occur in the oceans add different minerals ashes salts and gases into the water due to this levels of salts and minerals in ocean water increases continuous evaporation of the oceanic water also results in increasing the proportion of salt thus making the ocean water salty the salinity of the ocean water is different at different places due to its temperature and climatical conditions salinity is expressed in the terms of mils that is particles per thousand the average salinity of the ocean water is 35 mils the dead sea is known to have maximum salinity of 332 mils the hypersaline water of the dead sea makes floating in it easy and as its mineral rich black mud is used for various therapies and cosmetic treatments in various resorts 
we obtain salt from the salty waters salt as a substance is obtained by constructing salt pans in the coastal areas salt is a substance which is used in our daily diet many minerals like phosphates sulfates iodines etc are also obtained from the sea we depend on ocean to some extent for minerals the proportion of fish in sea is much greater than those in the rivers and lakes catching fishes and marine animal is one of the ancient occupation of human beings different variety of fishes are included in our daily diet they are also used as for production of fertilizers pharmaceuticals and other researches in india many people consume different variety of fishes like prawns clams crabs shellfish mackerels prawn fritters indian shark indian salmon etc the life of people from countries like mauritius maldives etc largely depend on the seas the climate too is affected due to the nearness of the oceans and seas in the regions close to the ocean seas or large reservoirs there is not much of difference in the temperature throughout the day the main reason for this is the mixing of vapor released through evaporation of water from these water bodies into the air this vapor in the air observes and stores the heat released from the land hence the temp- temperature in the coastal region remains equable the ocean influences the climatic condition of a place coastal areas are cooler and wetter than the regions away from the ocean there is a difference in the maximum and minimum temperature with the difference being less in the coastal region that is nearness to the sea while it is more in the regions far away from the sea the temperature in the coastal areas remains equable due to the mixing of vapor released through the evaporation of water from these water bodies into the air this vapor observes and stores the heat released from the land ocean also acts as the controller of the temperature winds that move the oceanic water in the form of currents ocean currents move from the equatorial region to the polar region and from the polar region to the equatorial region this leads to the redistribution of heat on the earth the cold currents moving towards the equatorial region making the temperature of the coastal area in that zone milder where else the warm currents coming in the colder region cause the temperature in the coastal areas to rise hence the ocean acts as a controller of the global temperature i hope you have understood this part of my explanation we shall continue this lesson in the next part thank you and please take care of yourself